Okay, kid, show me what you got. Yeah, right. Next! Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and I'm next on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's break into the castle to watch a play. Breaking the law! Breaking the law! Okay, let's... Well, yeah, I'm six years old! Or however old I am. Well, I know how old he is, but I'm not going to tell you. Well, there you go. See, that was easy. And no one happens to notice all those bridges across these houses there. By the way, speaking of hurrying up, um, good idea to increase the battle speed to fast there. Um, because, well, the battle speed in this game, not so hot. Most of the battle mechanics I love in this game, but that's one thing they could have worked on. Whoa, holy crap! <laughs> you almost plunged to your death. <laughs> That's so funny. No. But over here in this chimney, we get 29 gil. Okay, yeah, let's follow uh, that guy up there. Okay, phew, finally made it. I don't have to pretend I don't know his name. BB! Yeah, what a appropriate name for a black mage. And the rat's name is Puck. All right. Yeah, now we can just follow him safely. Or we could go up here to get a hidden treasure. Uh, where is it? There it is. Wh why people are keeping money in their chimneys there? I, I don't know. You, you got me on that one. Uh, maybe they're trying to bribe Santa Claus? I, I don't know. But anyway, if we go over here, we can get another secret treasure. 63 gil. All right. Yes, not really too useful with the money, but every little bit helps. Okay, yeah, now we might as well follow Puck to uh, get into the castle there. Well, that was easy. All the adults couldn't find a way to get in here, but two six-year-old kids, hey, of course they can find a way to get into the castle. It's a Final Fantasy game. Six-year-olds are saving the world. Heck, everyone in this game looks like they're six years old, practically. Well, I suppose some people actually look like adults. Unlike Lufia, everyone looks like they're either 6 or 60 in that game. I, I don't know what, what the deal is. But anyway, alright, we made it. You never get to see Vivi's face, unless you've played Final Fantasy 1. Alright. Whoa, holy crap, what the hell is that? Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's the queen, but... How did she have a babylicious daughter like that? Uh, what the hell? I mean, did she... I, I don't know. Was she once beautiful before and then get the mad cow disease? And then, like, ballooned after the pregnancy or something? Like, what the hell? I do like the music here. But I don't know what they were thinking with the queen there. I like the music here. What's everyone so worried or depressed about here? I mean, it's... Well, I know why, but... The queen is the only one who seems to know how to have a good time, and she's a fat cow. What the hell, game? Wow. That's Baku there, in case you can't tell. Apparently, he's narrating the story. Cornelia, Final Fantasy One reference. Always excellent. I don't think Leo is a Final Fantasy Six reference. I'm going to say that's a coincidence there, but... Eh. Well, not uh, too complicated of a story. And now, your Royal Majesty, audience, rich people, and... Peasants illegally viewing this play on YouTube, I present our play. I want to be everyone's canary. I do like the music here, though. Kind of reminiscent of the Final Fantasy VI opera. Not quite, though. You're not beating the opera. But, you know, it's cool still. The dialogue's moving automatically here, so if you can't read it, well, you can't do much about it. I only wish I knew how to uh, slow down my emulator, but I don't know how to do that, so, oh well. Hey, how's it going? 
Oh, right, we're trying to kill you. Apparently we're all very angry at him. There ain't no hose around here, buddy. You know, the funny thing is, even though this is a play, you know, they go so over the top with the music like that. You know, it could be like for a real scene like this, you know? And it's still cool. I love that. Okay, well, let's take some time to screw around with the play here. Why not? We got uh, some special effects. Oh, well, he's going to use some already. So, well, there we go. Let's see. We got Holly... And Medeo, I'm guessing that's a play on Meteo from Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, lots of references to uh, uh, the old Final Fantasy games. I don't know what that's supposed to be a reference to, or what it is, but yeah, we got all these special effects attacks, but they're just for, um, what is it? And they're, well, they're just special effects. They don't deal any actual damage, so... Yeah, don't worry about it. Just start attacking now. And Cinna is still a woos. He's even more of a woos than Zeus. Get him, guys. Only two guards. That's it. Blank man. Get him. That was a weird movie. A lot of weird movies out there. Apparently, he's still using the same attacks as he was before in that Mask Command fight. All right, got him. There we go. Okay, let's finish him off. Come on. Get him. Oh, you just going to let him walk away? Stop him. Stop him. Oh, yeah, I was just trying to kill him before, but, you know, I was a spy! Or what? What's the deal here in the play? But Anyway, now it's the moment I'm sure you've all been waiting for. The sword fight. Not nearly as epic or entertaining as Final Fantasy VIII. I'm Gar, thanks for the warning. Do not hesitate. Show no mercy. Go all out. But yeah, basically it's a game of, I guess, Simon or whatever it is. But yeah, you got to press all these buttons in a certain order or whatever order he tells you to. It's fairly random. But uh, yeah, you just got to keep on doing that over and over and over again. I think there's like 50 buttons that you have to press in order to uh, well, get through this part. So it doesn't especially matter if you screw up. But if you do it correctly, you'll get, well, you'll get a prize. So, let's see what I can do this time. Highest I've ever been able to get is a 97. I've never been able to get a 100. Maybe if I, I knew how to slow down my emulator, I could do that. But I don't know how. So, oh well. But instead, we just keep on going through this part. There we go. All right. God. Was that a camera flashing in the background there? Didn't have background or cameras back then. All right. There we go. You can do this over and over again to try and win a really good prize, but it's a rare item, a Moonstone, but not really worth it. I would not go out of my way to try to figure it out. Not to mention I can't do it. So, oh well. But we get something else that's remotely useful still and some money out of it, so. Eh. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Okay, all right, Blank. You could go without the armor. Stop talking! Yeah, the package, like in Final Fantasy IV. No, no, uh, that's an Oglot, by the way. But whatever the hell that thing is, I don't know. Oh, so we're going to put her to sleep in order to capture her, I guess. We already got the knights. Well, at least we le left them with their dignity. Well, where is she? Ah, oh, okay. So let's just go on upstairs then. Whoa. Okay. Better be careful. 
We could head up or down, but and some guards would come and we'd have to hide, but we might as well just go up here and move along. <laughs> nice Final Fantasy 1 reference with the White Mage's outfit. Very, very classy. Well, let's take a harder look at her. Who is she, anyway? Did someone get this walking carpet out of my way? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh. I guess he's trying to, uh, schmooze her, I guess. Uh, it's called being hit on. But I suppose she wouldn't know anything about that. Well, you could just do like they do in all other video games and just, you know, one punch in the gut and that's it, knocks her out, but nah, nah. I don't know why he's screwing around like this. <laughs> oh, he's just flirting with her. <laughs> I love the sound effects. Whoa! We gotta get after her. I love Zorn and Thorn's theme here. Maybe I'll be quiet for a little while. Thought about making this one on Mario Paint. Yeah, basically, um, Zorn and Thorn, um, how can I explain them? Well, if Yoda joined the circus and then cloned himself, you'd get Zorn and Thorn. Yeah, pretty much. Except they don't have lightsabers. No, no. We're done with the lightsabers ever since Chrono Cross! Yeah, I don't know why they speak... Well, I know why they speak the way they do, but that would be a spoiler. These, like, court jesters or something? Why do these, like, court mages are, like... Why are they, like, like such high rank in these, uh... Well, in the Final Fantasy games, you know? Oh, he's, uh, the guy in charge of the Knights of Pluto, I guess. And Beatrix, okay. Well, what is the emergency? Damn it, Beatrix! Uh, oh, you mean the princess. Oh, yeah, we were kind of chasing after her. Nuts. They spotted us! Oh yeah, we got the play going on here. Well, she just wanted to use the bathroom, that's all. Now, why would she do that? I mean, she doesn't know anything about the pendant. Oh, of course it's a magical pendant, as if that's a spoiler. The pendant is always magical. And what is the captain's name? Captain Morgan? Can we successfully kidnap the princess? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!